myself, Dr. Sudhir Ashinkar, ENT surgeon, practicing from 35 years. Hi friends, today I would like to share few facts about Voltaigo. Voltaigo is the giddiness which we get continuously, sudden feeling of giddiness and associated with the nausea, vomiting and sometimes sweating and this is vertigo and there are two types of major two types of vertigo one is central and one is peripheral central vertigo is because of the problems of brain and brain stem peripheral vertigo is other than the central and in this the types of peripheral vertigo are the benign paroxysmal positional vertigo venous disease labyrinthitis and inner ear infections and because of this there will be vertigo. Vertigo is a symptom. It is not a disease by itself. That's why we have to find out the underlying cause. And now we are facing that something is during the acute attack of vertigo. What should be done? We have to ask the patient to calm down. The patient will be anxious. We have to release the anxiety of the patient and ask the patient to lie down in a position which is most comfortable and give some anti-vertigo labyrinthine sedative drugs just like meclizine, betahistine, stematil or this is the acute attack or betahistine. Is after giving this, patients will settle down. Now, coming to the, uh, this is the acute attack. Now, ask the patient for the chronic diseases like, like hypertension, diabetes, and if the patient is on any medications. Now, what are the things to do during the vertigo patient not to have recurrent attacks? That is, that Patient can drink lemongrass tea, ginger tea, strawberries and most important is adaptation exercises. At least manual, brand diet exercises, these has to be continuously done not to have recurrent episodes. Now, what not to be done is, this is, that is, one should avoid sodium content of the foods. Foods contains which is more sodium content. These foods should be avoided. Alcohol should be stopped. And anything regarding that is tobacco should be avoided. Smoking should be avoided. Because all these factors aggravates the vertigo. <coughs> no. And we have to in the acute attack we should not move the head. Because sudden change in movement, sudden looking above, sudden looking below and it stimulates the labyrinth and then giddiness starts. Now, uh, usually vertigo is of short duration from few seconds to few minutes. But in some cases, the, it will not stop. Then. And if it is associated, if the giddiness is associated with severe headache, blurring of vision, diplopia, and weakness of the hand or leg, or any other of these symptoms appear, then patient has to be referred to the higher center where there is an ENT surgeon as well as neurophysician will be there and for the further evaluation of the disease and management, this has to be done. Now, hope this is, will give you good light how to manage the vertigo patients. And now wishing you a vertigo free life to all of you. Thank you very much.